Your phone is now unmuted. And we're ready to go. All right, the Board of Certified Advanced Estheticians is convening at 9.06 a.m. on October 26, 2022 uh, via telephone conference, and I will now call roll. Christine Knapp, here. Rebecca Covey, here. Kimberly Canaday, here. Yvonne Duan. Here. Jamie O'Neill. Here. David Howe. Here. Great. Uh, members, when you wish to speak, please state your last name for the record. For the record, public members calling into the public phone lines are asked to email April Fleming at april.fleming at dhs oha.state.or.us and provide first and last names. Public and interested parties feedback may be heard during the public and interested party feedback period if indicated on the agenda. Everyone is asked to use appropriate language, manners, and protocols when conducting board business. This meeting is called to order. Um, I and I think first thing on the docket, do you want, shall we do, Bob, shall we do introductions first or shall we do approval of agenda? Um, introductions is next on the agenda. Okay. Um, so we have some new board members. Yay. Um, Kimberly candidate, Kimberly, were you on the last call? I was, yes. Do you want to just share a, a quick tidbit about where you're located and what your experience and licensing is? Uh, sure, I'll turn my camera on so people can see me. Hi, I'm Kimberly Canaday. I'm a nurse practitioner in Bend, Oregon. I work at a uh, medical spa and have been in that industry for six years. I have been a nurse practitioner for 13 and a nurse for 22 and have a myriad of experience. And I'm looking forward to whatever input I may provide on this board. Great, we appreciate your participation. Um, Yvonne? I'm also a uh, nurse practitioner, owner of two medical spa in Portland Metro. The name is Renew Aesthetic Clinic. We're in Beaverton and in Cedar Mill. So I just opened a second location. Um, the clinic is fairly new, it's only five years. Uh, I've been a nurse practitioner since 2000, been in the aesthetic industry since Let's see, July of 2007. So it's been a while. So that's me. Wonderful. Well, welcome. We're grateful. Um, Jamie? Hi, everyone. I'm Jamie O'Neill, and I'm a certified advanced esthetician. And um, I've been in the industry for about since 2008. And I have a practice in Selwood in Portland, um, primarily focused on skin and laser services. Great. Um, and Rebecca, do you want to give just a brief, quick overview so everyone knows where you're located? Yes, I'm Rebecca Covey. I'm a CAE as well as the founder of Aesthetics MD in Bend, Oregon. So me and Kim are just right down the street from each other. And um, I've been in the field since, gosh, it's probably been about 2003 or 2004. Um, and I am very excited to meet everybody new on the board. We have a fantastic group of people this year, so welcome everyone. And I'm also serving as uh, vice chair at this time. Great, thanks Rebecca. And uh, uh, my name's Christine Knapp and I have two practices in the Lake Oswego Bridgeport area in the south suburbs of Portland. And um, I'm just happy we made quorum and I'm looking forward to getting some work done. Okay, so, Agenda. Everyone got their agenda? Yes. Um, Christy, if I may. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Bob. Um, so I'd like to introduce myself to the new board members and um, oh, some of our. I assumed uh, we all knew you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you do. <laughs> but uh, and then we have some uh, staff that the board members 
typically will typically have um, contact with, so we want to get them introduced as well. If you don't mind, I would love that actually. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, board uh, chair and board members, my name is Bob Bothwell. I'm with been with the office here almost 11 years, and um, I have been the interim director for about six, almost six months now. And um, I'm glad to have a full contingency of board members so we can uh, get some business taken care of. So thank you all for um, coming on to the board. Um, and then uh, I see David on here. David, you want to introduce yourself real quick? And so everybody, yeah, sure. the new board members know who you are. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, I'm David Howe. I'm from the Oregon Health Authority Radiation Protection Services. And because our rules and jurisdiction overlapped into lasers, uh, I've been a part of this group actually since the onset of the board when it was created and helped in some of the rural advisory capacity. And I've been with the state about 15 years. Thank you. Heather, hold us on, please. Good morning. My name is Heather Vogelsong. I'm an attorney with the Oregon Department of Justice, and I provide legal assistance and advice to HLO and the various boards and programs that it is um, that is under HLO. Thank you. Good morning. And Tina. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tina Russell. I'm the licensing manager. I've been with the office for 26 years and have worked in various different positions here. So welcome everybody. Thank you, Tina. And then I think all the board members have met Sammy Patnode. No. No? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna scoot out of the way and let Sammy roll in here. Hi, I'm Sammy, a policy analyst. Yvette, I think, or Yvonne and Jan Jamie, I think we've talked on the phone, but I'm the analyst for this board and the next time we meet, we'll do an orientation for the two of you. Uh, I've been here 26 years and look forward to working with um, everybody on devices and working through all those rules we're gonna be doing soon. Nice to meet everyone. And then one more, uh, Cynthia Murphy. She's gonna pop on here. Hi, my name is Cynthia Murphy. I'm the qualification analyst for the health licensing office. I've been with the office for 26 years as as well, and I write education, training, and exams, and it's nice to meet all of you. And then one more, uh, Trampa Shuck. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Trampa Shuck. I'm the interim regulatory manager. Uh, took over for Bob when he became the interim director. Um, I'm with the, I've been with the office for about 14 years. Um, most of that time is in regulatory, a little bit in policy. But um, so I'm here to take care of all your regulatory needs. Thank you. Okay, Christy. Um, wow, we got a big support team here. Yes, we do. We're That's all anxious, fabulous. Yes, we're all anxious to be a part and to assist and get things <laughs> taken care of. Um, That's wonderful. So the next thing on your uh, agenda would be the approval of the agenda. Yep. Do I have a motion to approve the agenda? This is Rebecca Covey. I move to approve the agenda. And do we have a second? This is Kimberly Canada. I second the motion. Great. OK, Bob, where do we go from here? So you should have a script um, called motion language. Um, so we have so I, I'll work this one through for you. Um, so we've had okay. a, a motion and a second. And mm -hmm. Christy, if you could please call rule and those okay. that agree can say yay and those that do not agree can say nay. OK, we'll take a vote to approve the agenda. Rebecca Covey. Yay. Kimberly Canaday. Yay. 
Yvonne Duan. Yay. Jamie O'Neill. Yay. And Christy Knapp, yay. And um, David, you are not a voting part of the group, correct? Correct. Okay, the agenda's been approved. So, and Bob, I'm going to lean on you again. Okay, yeah, I haven't ran very many of these, so I just want to make sure that we stay on track. Not a problem. Let me get back to my agenda here. Um, I think the next thing on the agenda is, thank you, meeting dates. So if everybody's had an opportunity to see the materials that they received um, from April, there's a uh, 2023 meeting dates. And um, if you could take a look at your calendars, if you have the time right now or haven't had an opportunity, um, the meeting dates proposed for 2023 are February 22nd, May 24th, and September 6th, all at 9 a.m. This is Christy Knapp. Um, I, these dates look great. I, I'm, I hope we have a team here who like, will plan ahead and we won't have to have a bunch of reschedules. Do we vote on this or we're just making yes. these announcements? No, nope, we need to um, have a first and a second and then vote, yes. May I ask a question, Bob? Sure. So these meetings, um, I see a starting time, but I don't see any time. What is the convention? Is it three mm -hmm. hours, four hours? Uh, four hours, according to my policy analyst. Um, sometimes they don't last quite four hours. And uh, sometimes um, we would notify you in advance if if it looks like it would be it would go beyond that time frame. But we really try to limit it because we know everybody's busy and have businesses to run. And this is Christy Knapp. Um, if everybody could state their last name or their full name before they speak, that would be really helpful. Um, and then I also have another question. Are we anticipating any in-person meetings or are we primarily doing phone moving forward? Does well, the office do you guys is, know the answer? The office is open. Um, we can certainly hold the meetings here. Um, but uh, so far, most of the boards in the last few months have chose to continue to do it um, via Teams because some of the board members are out of the um, Salem and Portland metro area and have quite a distance to travel. But um, Madam Chair, if you wish to have it in the office, we're happy to accommodate and have it in the office so everybody can be in the same room. This is Christine Knapp. I think at this point, we're all just anxious to actually have some productivity and make some progress moving forward regardless. Um, I know some of the members come a lot further than I do, so I think that question would be better suited for Rebecca and Kimberly. Yeah, and so, even if even if we have some of the board members in the room and um, some of the board members on on MS Teams, we can certainly mm -hmm. put it up on the big screen and mm -hmm. have everybody involved. Uh, this so is David. Sammy. I sorry, I've been out of the office for like the last month and a half. And I right before I went out, I had spoke with um, Heather Vogelson, the attorney, about our plan for the Rules Advisory Committee and how we would approach um, uh, recommended drafts from the Rules Advisory Committee. And we uh, determined that we're going to have combined Board of Cosmetology and Board of Certified Advanced Esthetician meetings. So you can both look at the rules and uh, approve them somewhat together um, because the law says it has to be collaborative between the two boards. What I didn't do is I didn't give April those dates of the two meetings, the combined meetings. So it's June 12th and October 23rd. Now, I would put all the dates down, but my guess is we'll be able to cancel the May one and probably that September one. Do you want Completely my fault. You want to strike those from the record? I would, yeah, I would strike 
May 24th and replace it with June 12th. And September 6th and replace it with October 23rd. That way you're not having to be here more and plan. Sorry, my bad. So David Howe here, I, I would suggest, um, I call it a hybrid meeting. Um, sometimes it's an issue to get a quorum, obviously, and for folks coming from distance to be able to come in virtual, I think is a good thing. I've done that with another board and it worked really well. So that'd be my suggestion. Okay. And this is Yvonne Duan. I also serve on OSBN, the Nursing Licensing Board. Um, the nursing board is doing a hybrid every other month. Okay. So, um, logistically, I will work with our IT and Sammy and, um, we'll, uh, at the next meeting in February, well, beforehand, we will let you know where we land on it. Um, hybrid sounds good. And I'm getting nods from the staff here. So looks like we'll do hybrid uh, in beginning in February. So this um, is Christy Knapp, that sounds great, thank you. Okay, and then so what we need to do is um, have a motion for the 2023 meeting dates, February 22nd, June 12th, and October 23rd at 9 a.m. Kavi, I move to approve the 2023 meeting dates. Do we have a second? Candidate Kimberly, this, I second the motion. Great, meeting dates have been approved. Madam Chair, and we need a roll call, please. Okay. Um, if you agree, say A, and if you disagree, say nay. Is that correct? Correct. Rebecca Covey. A. Kimberly Canaday. Uh, a, yay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yvonne Duan. Yay. Jamie O'Neill. Yay. Christina. Yay. So 2023 meeting dates have been approved. Next item on the agenda is 2023 chair and vice chair. Um, Bob, is it okay if I hand this off to you? Absolutely. So currently, um, this is Bob. Not currently, I'm Bob. I'm always Bob. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so currently, we have Christy Knapp, who is the chair and Rebecca Covey, who is vice chair. Um, and Rebecca, excuse me, um, Christy, I'll try and do it in order here. So your first full term expired, looks like 1231 of 21. And you can, you could have reappointed and you, you probably did since you're here. Is that right, Christy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're good through the next couple of years. And um, if uh, the board would like to nominate you again or nominate uh, somebody else to be the board chair, they can certainly do that. Um, also, we have Rebecca Covey, who's the vice chair. And uh, her second full term ends at the end of 2024. And by the end of 2024, I mean 1231 to 24. And she cannot reappoint. Um, but she is, um, she has enough time left in her tenure to also continue as the vice chair if she would like to and if somebody nominates her. So what we'll need is a couple of uh, nominations and then a vote. This, this is Kavi. I'd like to uh, nominate Christine Knapp to be reappointed as chair since we really didn't have um, any meetings 
last year. <laughs> so it'd be great to to keep her on and um she's done a wonderful job I think of leading the board. So I'd like to nominate her. Candidate, I second that motion. Is that correct? Mm hmm Yes. And then um for the vice chair. Would someone like to be vice chair or would someone like to nominate somebody for vice chair? You can candidate. certainly nominate yourself. This is Canada Kimberly. I would like to nominate Rebecca Covey for the same reasons. We didn't have much of a meeting schedule. And this is Christy Knapp. I don't I don't know if I'm I don't know where I'm supposed to lead or not lead. This is so new, but no I problem. think Rebecca Covey has the most experience of probably anybody on this call with this particular board for sure. Oh, okay, and you're you're the chair, um, so you can't make a second. But if somebody else would like to second it, right, right. Honestly. Yvonne or Jamie would. I second. Uh, this is Yvonne Duan. Second. Thank you. Okay, Christy. So we need a roll call to approve okay. um, Christy Knapp and Rebecca Covey. Christy Knapp as the chair and Rebecca Covey as the vice chair for 2023. And if we can have a roll call, that'd be great. Okay, I will take the roll call to approve. Christy Knapp as chair, Rebecca Covey as vice chair. Yay, if you agree, nay, if you do not, Rebecca Covey. Yay. Kimber Kimberly Canaday. Yay. Yvonne Duan. Yay. Jamie O'Neill. Yay. And Christy Knapp. Yay. Okay, and so this is Bob for clarification that was Chair and Vice Chairperson for 2023. All right. Moving quite along quite quickly. Um, and I should have announced this earlier. We need to wrap up by 10 o'clock because we will lose quorum. So I'm going to pass the microphone over to um, Heather Fogelsong. Executive session. For executive session. So we're going to stop the recordings and put the phone on mute. Oh, hang on a second before you turn it off, Nate. Um, thank you. So the Board of Certified Advanced Estheticians will now meet in executive session pursuant to ORS 192.6602F, ORS 192.3559A, and ORS. 40.255 for the purpose of considering information exempt from public disclosure at 929 a.m. on October 26, 2022. Representatives of the news media shall be allowed to attend executive session by conference call and will be provided further call instructions shortly. The public phone line will be muted for the duration of the executive session. Hi, good morning on the phone. This is Bob Bothwell with the Health Licensing Office. Are there any members of the media? on the call. Hearing none, recognizing that there are no news media in attendance, the public phone line will be muted for the duration of the executive session. We will return to open session before taking any final action or making any final decisions. We are now in executive session. Your phone is now muted. To unmute, push star, then three.